Hello and welcome. You're watching the Modern Mystic Radio Show. My name is Mystic Sarah. I'm going to be with you for the next 30 minutes and I'll be taking two callers. Um, but before I do that, I just want to remind you of how you can get interactive with me uh, and get your own reading. So if you want a private reading, you can go through to my website, which is www.modern-mystic.co.uk or you can find me on Facebook under Mystic Sarah and also Modern Mystic. Stick. Um, so plenty of ways for you to get involved. Um, a little bit of an update for you. Um, I do have now um, a, a six month or 12 month subscription service if you want to get your own personal reading every single month delivered straight to your inbox um, or straight to your, your, your Facebook Messenger. Um, and I'm doing that um, from now. So you can either order six months or 12 months. Um, you can go through to my website to have um, a little bit more of a look at that if that appeals to you. Um, but that's way, a way of you getting a little bit of an update and some guidance each and every month without really lifting a finger to do so. So that's great. Right, okay, I'm looking forward to my callers today, but before I do that, I want to tell you a little bit about my experiences, um, particularly in relation to loved ones, okay? So, um, for me, I mean, I'm, I'm lucky that I haven't really experienced close to what close ones, you know, departing, leaving, uh, apart from one person, and that was my father. And this is going back about 13 years ago. Um, now, he passed away really suddenly, so there was no illness particularly. Um, there was no forewarning. Uh, one minute he was here, the next minute he wasn't. But it was after he passed away that I started to have some very strange, surreal and amazing experiences that I want to share with you tonight. Um, so the first first thing that happened, it was at the morning of his funeral, actually. So it's a couple of days after he passed away. Like I said, it was very sudden uh, and I was, I was very shell shocked with it. Um, and I woke up um, on that morning um, and it was around four o'clock in the morning. And it was October, so it's still dark outside. Um, and my father was there. I, I felt his presence um, more so than I felt any other presence in my life. Um, it was as though with my eyes shut, it felt as though he was physically standing there in the room right next to me. Um, so much so I really felt like I could reach out and touch him. Um, and then he started to engage in like a mental conversation with me, okay? And he was telling me all sorts of different things, um, telling me what, uh, what he thought, um, you know, thought about me, thought about um, where I'm going, et cetera, et cetera. And this is all before my life really started to take off. Um, and one of the things that he was doing was showing me um, it's like he was going through a photograph album um, and each photograph, you know, there will be pictures of um, myself and my sister um, as children. But it wasn't just the pictures that he was showing me. I was also getting the emotions behind the picture that he was feeling. Um, so I had that real sense of, um, you know, with, with some of them, joy, happiness. Um, pride, all these beautiful energies and feelings and emotions were flooding through. Um, and he was doing this for quite some time. Um, and when he'd finished showing me all these lovely pictures, um, what he said to me is that these were the treasures that he'll be taking with him. Um, I remember how, um, how much I wanted to savour that conversation and how much I wanted it to last absolutely forever. But of course, you know, as all good things are, it did come to an end and it was quite rapid and abrupt. Now, like I said, I woke up at about four o'clock. I was having a conversation with my father who passed away uh, for about an hour. And um, all of a sudden he said, as the sun was rising, I could feel the sun rising, see the sun rising. Um, I have to go now because somebody is going to call you. And I thought, 
this is it's five o'clock in the morning <laughs> who's going to call me at five o'clock in the morning no one's going to call me at five, five o'clock you need to stay i want you to stay and he said no somebody's going to call and i need to go and, and off he went and within probably one or two minutes of him leaving um the phone rang and it was his sister um, who I haven't spoken to um, for a very, very well, for, ever since I was about four. So this was um, uh, yeah, 30 odd years um, of no contact. And all of a sudden she phones up and I'm speaking to her. Uh, the tears flow and it's a very emotional conversation. Now, since then, he has popped in and out of my life for various different reasons. Um, initially, he would always come through in dreams. Now, um, what I tended to find is that it was normally um, some bad news was coming my way um, and he was preparing me for it. I would never find out what that would be, but I certainly got the gist that when he turned up in a dream, I needed to pay attention. Um, and this is the way he kind of um, manifested in my life, I suppose, um, for a good number of years. So whenever I was due to um, have something go wrong in my life that I needed perhaps some emotional support with he would turn up in my dreams um, and there was one instance actually it's when um, I had a again it's a, a shocking relationship ending um, and everything as far as I was concerned was um, was going you know quite well quite normal um, and I had this dream of my dad and I dreamt that I was having a heart transplant but he was there and I thought I woke up and thinking this is quite a powerful dream <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen and lo and behold my relationship ended um, that very day and it, it kind of brought about almost like a catalogue of uh, disasters after that. Now he has come through in other ways that have not been so um, alarming or devastating at the time. I mean I remember when I was um, looking to sell um, my house and it was actually his house I bought his house and then obviously I was going to move 10 years later and we were struggling to sell it and I was beginning to get a little bit worried and a little bit concerned and I dreamt again of my dad um, and he showed me um, at the house but when we went into the back garden, um, it turned into like three back gardens. So we'd go to the end and then there'll be another one and then there'll be another one after that. And it was the third one that I remember was very strange and very, it was drawing my attention. This was my like final location. Um, so when I sort of delved into it, what I kind of realized was that actually it's going to be the third attempt of selling or the third offer um, uh, and moving forwards three times before I actually sold and that's exactly what happened. Um, now there have been more positive um, experiences as well so I remember where is it, it, he'd been gone for about six years and I was in meditation and I was trying something called the Merkaba meditation, which is supposed to activate your Merkaba vehicle and sort of propel you into um, the fourth dimension and beyond. And so I was practicing that with no real objective behind it. Um, and when I did this meditation, I found myself um, on a beach with my dad there and there were other members of the family as well that passed over that he knew that I wasn't particularly aware of um, or, or recognised in any way but he was there and I had a very long deep conversation with him and it was within that conversation where I was saying well you know I, I miss you blah 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 and he was he looked at me and he laughed um, and he said well you know I've only been gone five minutes why are you overreacting like this? And I said, well, it's been six years. And he didn't quite believe me in that respect. Um, but, you know, I do believe that when they pass over and in further dimensions outside of our, our dimension, the third dimension, that time doesn't exist in the way that we recognise. And that for me was validation. Um, now, luckily, he hasn't visited me for a while. So there's been no bad news that I've been have to be aware of. I occasionally feel his energy around me. I haven't had any dreams for a long time, um, but more often than not, it will just be a sense when I'm either driving the car 
um, he'll pop into my head or when I'm when I'm busy when I'm lost doing something in my own own world um, he'll pop in just to say hello and um, so there are many ways in which spirit can connect with you feathers butterflies messages seeing synchronicities the same numbers repeating um, so if that's something that you're experiencing never doubt that they're never far away from us okay so let's go straight on to my first caller and we have Lisa who is in um, Dundalk um, Ireland Lisa can you hear me Hiya. Hiya, hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks, and you? Very well, thank you. Thank you so much for coming on to the show. Um, is there something that you would like me to look at for you tonight? Um, just um, basically what happens over the last year and going forward, maybe. Okay, right. So a bit of a general overview, is that right? Yeah, I just got mum to love life if you could. Okay, right, let's have a look and see what we have for you. So I'm going to give the cards a bit of a shuffle. And let's okay, just see you. what we have for you. Um, okay, right. So would I be right in saying that um, over the past year, um, it just feels like the whole love area for you has been really challenging. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. what I'm being shown here is a, definitely a feeling of, um, I suppose, being a little bit shell shocked. Um, uh, things ending in quite um, a, a rapid way. Um, yeah, that's turbulence as well. But but you know, I get yeah. a huge amount of disappointment with this too. Um, and I feel that even though this is not necessarily something that's happened, you know, just now or in the last month or so, I feel like this is a little bit further behind us. Um, what I'm being shown here is like that that energy of disappointment, that sadness that you, you've had and you've experienced um, has, has really made you doubt um, your faith in people and your trust in people. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, yeah. I, I mean, I feel like this whole energy um, and all these emotions do need to be cleared and I feel like this is what you're kind of going through at the moment but it's like where you stand right now today um, what I'm feeling is that you um, you would just like to know whether or not there is somebody that is right for you out there does that make sense yeah um, and I have some good news for you. <laughs> um, I have got somebody here. Um, and so, but what I'm being shown here is like you know the the need to kind of rebalance yourself and and get you get you where you need to be is really important at this particular point in time okay um that's yeah. what you need to be focusing on now the relationship that i've got for you is really positive okay i get somebody that is um you know very i want to say quite resourceful quite strong very sort of i want to say quite self-confident but rightly so um they've also got a real um softness to them okay or gentleness to them um somebody that i feel do you know what i mean they, they really care or they really will care about what you think and how you feel does that make sense yeah yeah which is almost like the polar opposite of what you've had to go through because my feeling here is that like your last relationship um it's, it's like it, it's ended um, in, in quite a cold way. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely, definitely. 
Yeah. So yeah. to be with somebody that's actually really, really cares about, you know, you as a person, how you feel, what you think, are you okay? Um, you know, I feel, I feel like this is really going to be very refreshing for you and a total sort of contrast to what you've experienced before. Now, why don't I kind of go into your previous relationship? Were you together for a long time? Yeah, it was a very long time and it wasn't a good relationship. Yeah, okay. Um, now we've got this relationship that's coming in and showing me that it's going to be a very strong relationship. So we have got a, definitely a, a kindred spirit uh, kind of coming in for you. Um, now I kind of want to look a little bit um, in relation to timing for you. Um, okay. And what I'm being shown here is, see, I feel like it's around October time, okay? So a lot of what you've gone through over the last year or so, I do feel that you can put it behind you. Um, it, it's, it's interesting because I feel that the last year has really shown you um, who you can trust and who you can't, okay? Um, and who yeah, is true... Great. And who's truly there for you and who is not. And even though that's been a painful realisation, um, I feel that now you know where you stand with lots of people, not just the one. Um, you, you, know, you, know, you, you know where your priorities now have to be. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. Yeah. Um, so what I want to say here for, for you is that um, is, is, is just to focus on healing those elements of doubt. OK, um, because I do feel that I have got happiness here for you. It's not that far away and it is going to be probably the most major relationship of your life to date. Um, can I ask you a question? Do you see like, mm -hmm. uh, like children now? Like court cases is that involved? Can I see if, sorry, did, can you just repeat uh, that? Can, can, I, can I see or, the children or court cases involved or coming up? Um, let's have a look. Um, right. Um, Right, so what I'm not being shown here is you necessarily having more children. Um, okay. What I feel is, well, certainly not at the moment what, where, where everything stands right now, okay? Um, that doesn't mean that you yeah. won't ever. Um, now, in terms of a court case or um, court proceedings, um, I have got here the, the whole element of judgment um, now, I feel, but you've also got some really favourable cards around that. So my feeling here is if there is any kind of legal decision to be made as a result of what you've gone through, um, I feel yeah. like I've got you actually coming up trumps with it To You know, I feel as though, um, you know, if anyone's going to be taking a side, I feel like it will be your side. Does that make sense? Yeah, it definitely does, yeah. Okay. Um, so I want to thank you for coming through. I'm going to have to go on to our next caller. So I'm going to wish you lots of love and light. Thank you. Take care. Have a thank lovely you. evening. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Um, okay. We're going to go on to our next call. And we've got Linda from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Linda, can you hear me? Um, I can. Can you hear me? I can indeed. Welcome to the show. It's okay. lovely to hear from you. Okay, thank you. You too. Um, um, do you have a question for me tonight? Um, well, I actually have a really good job that I'm very happy with and I'm very secure and I'm, um, like I said, I'm happy with it. But I have another job that I would really like to go into. It's not a secure it wouldn't leave me with it would be secure but I would have to work for it I'm just wondering if I should really leave a secure job to go for what I really want 
Okay, let's have a look and see what we've got for you. Okay, just going to pull some cards out for you. Okay. So my feeling here, right, let's see what I've got. So you're working, um, I feel like it's a really difficult situation because you're working with a lot of assumptions here. Um, so you're assuming mm -hmm. that things will take um, a lot longer for you to build up the security that you've got presently. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Yeah. Um, however, I, I feel that um, this desire um, and and hope, I feel, because I do see it as an aspiration, um, it keeps on nagging at you. D does that make sense? So even though your your job is um, is you know is 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 good, okay. You know the, the 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 question here is that I don't feel like you're really going to change your um, mind on like your present position, meaning that it will always be, uh, you know, okay, good, it suits, you know, it means to an end. Does that make sense? So um, yeah. I feel that, I feel like you're being called to follow your heart, okay? And I understand that obviously when we're taking a risk you know is something that we have to think about a great deal before we have the courage to take that leap of faith and my feeling here is that you keep on being nagged to take that leap of faith and it doesn't quite leave you does that make sense it feels like it's still there but you don't want to just let go of everything um especially if you you know you haven't got necessarily a full plan of how you would make it all work. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does because I've worked very hard for what I have and I love my job. I love my job. I love, I, I'm secure for the first time in a long time. And then all of a sudden now I'm like, well, this isn't really my heart's desire. And I, it's kind of like jumping off a bridge into the, the water. You just don't really know what's there, you know? So I'm worried uh -huh. that maybe I'd be giving up too much. But then again, I'll never know if I could have done it if I don't. Um, well, absolutely. Um, I mean, my feeling here is that there is, I, I feel like we're looking at um, a timing element with this. Um, so yeah. th this, this feeling of, of doing, if you like, your dream job, let's call it your dream job. I feel like you are yeah. meant to do this, you see. Um, now, I feel that, um, I feel like there is going to be a point, okay, I feel like you're not too far, this is coming in within the next 12 months, I feel, of where that decision actually feels as though it's possible or, or, or viable in some way, okay, um, it's almost mm -hmm. as though I feel like you're 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 placed in this position where you know you you are able to choose that. Does does that make sense? Um, yeah. Now you haven't quite reached that point just yet. Um, no. And if I'm going to sort of tune into it, I I feel as though it's something that's actually stepping into next year rather than this year. Okay. Yeah. So it's the dream. Time, it's going to take time to get things in the line. Absolutely. Um, you know, when you when I when you do take that leap of faith, um, what I do feel is that um, I feel like it's actually going to work out better than you expect. Okay, I, I do see you working hard, but there is this element of fulfillment and, and enjoyment with it that uh -huh. make, will make it feel like you're not e even working. Does that make sense? Yeah, very much. Yeah. So, you know, I feel that within the next sort of nine months, there is going to be an opportunity or a time frame where it seems suitable to actually go for it. Does that make sense? Um, yeah. So mm -hmm. I feel like you need to wait for that 
wait for that okay. point. And then I feel that um, then I see you actually taking that leap of faith. Right at the moment, it's like, um, you know, how can I put it? You're, you're building and creating the dream. OK, um, so yeah. I feel like, you know, what you're doing at the moment is, you know, in terms of like the wishful kind of thinking and uh, placing yourself in that position, which is what I feel like you've been doing in your mind um is it's a really positive thing to do it's a really good thing to do and it is the right thing to do at the moment okay so what you're not being nagged to do at the moment is to take that leap of faith now but i do see you doing it in the not too distant future and when you do i feel as though because uh, what i'm being shown here is like you will be fully supported within that decision and it's it's not going to be as difficult or as risky as you are thinking right at the moment okay well yeah it's going okay. to take at least nine months to a year to get everything in line anyway so yeah mm -hmm. Definitely. But my feeling here is well, that you, you need to be doing, yeah, you just do all the prep work that you can do whilst okay. you, in, while you're in your present position. And then I feel like as soon as you're ready, once you've done everything and you know where you're going with it, I feel like that opportunity will be more present itself. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right, you take care. All right, and thank you very much, and have a great night. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. And off, and off she goes. Now it has very, very quickly reached the end of my show. I can't believe it's gone so quickly. Um, I'm going to be back the same time next week. Um, please stay tuned for some wonderful shows um, for the rest of tonight and obviously the rest of the week. Have a great week, and I shall see you next Tuesday at 9.30 p.m. UK time. Bye for now.